All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you're watching the stream on demand, you want to skip in about seven minutes and 30 seconds, approximately, because that is when the event is going to begin. Uh, but if you're here live right now this evening for the fifth anniversary unveiling, uh, yeah, we got to wait seven minutes, boys. So we're just going to be chatting a load of rubbish and all sorts of fun in chat. Uh, but mad love to Christian Escamilla. Already sent over a dollar, mate. Got you up there preemptively as our blubbery whale of the day what's up with to uh edwin brian tuck uh kabam mike <laughs> ravi uh, adam gregor pranks a lot static connor strat Knox, eric gtox radium carlos lone wolf <laughs> liam chapner uh fat mars bars 69 uh great to have you here man guys always a good live stream where when fat mars bars 69 is knocking about in chat uh raffi hope you're doing well dude <laughs> Uh, but damn, chat is, is lit today, boys. How are we, how are we feeling about the, uh, the anticipation for this new event? On a scale of 1 to 10, between the Halls of Heroes and the gifting package, what, what are we saying for both boys? You know, if you had to preemptively guess what you'd rate them out of 10, I think I'm going, I'm going for a, a 5 out of 10 for the Halls of Heroes, and I'm going to go for a, a 4 out of 10 for the gifting package. That, that would be my guesses. But let me know your guesses in chat, man. I'm, I'm curious to see how everybody's uh, expectations are uh, for this event. Because the, the calendar, eh, you know, wasn't uh, wasn't that much more exciting than last year. Um, and uh, the cinematic was, yeah, it was uh, not really a cinematic for this game. Uh, so I'm curious, man. I'm curious. Seeing a few eights, nines, a two in chat from Travis. A very... um. Very skeptical man there. Uh, six, a uh, couple of twos, a minus two from Phil. Oh, taking skepticism to the next level there. Uh, Justin Gray says seven out of ten. A lot, of, a lot of sixes, a lot of sevens. You know, all, all sorts <laughs> going on there. So you know, uh, uh, it is the five-year anniversary, man. That's what like sixty months of Marvel Contest of Champions, bro. That is a friggin' milestone for any game to make it this far. So I'm very curious to see what they're gonna give. Uh, but Leon, thank you very much for the, uh, what is it, the 229 Euro Super Chat. I believe that roughly converts into three US dollars. Uh, so let's get you up there as our Barbarous Whale of the Day. But thank you very much, sir. Hope you're doing well today, dude. Uh, right, so Leon up there with three dollars. And is that centered? If we move it a little bit more right. There we go, mate. It is now. It is now. Hopefully there'll be a six star Kang. Bro, I, th I think you're getting confused with gifting. And that's going to be a week today, right? So it's, it's not too much longer till gifting, man, but I'm interested to see what the gifting crystals are going to be like this year. They were a little bit better than the previous year last year, um, but still, I opened a lot last year, man. Gosh, I, I swear I opened like a grand's worth of them last year. And they, um, yeah, they had their ups and downs, man. They certainly had their ups and downs. Yo, what's up, Poos? Happy anniversary to you as well. Hope you're doing well today, lad. Rule says, keep your expectations low, lads, so you can't be disappointed. That's it. Wise words from Rule there. If we just expect, you know, uh, a pile of 10k gold and a nice thank you for playing MCOC message, then yeah, the only way is up, really, I think. <laughs> we'll see. Yo, what's up, Chris? Thank you very much for the super chat, sir. Certainly do appreciate it. Love your stuff, see you, and thanks for the guides and advice. You'll certainly welcome there, my friend, and thank you very much for the uh, the $4 super chat. Let's get you up there as our, our blubberiest whale of the stream. Uh, are we all sixes and sevens? There, there is a good level of optimis uh, optimism. But, uh, you know, it's, it's always good to wind that down as, as much as we can. Have the lowest possible expectation. But I don't know, it's five years, man. It's five years. Aslanis, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, Merry Christmas to you as well, man. Hopefully you have an absolutely fantastic one. And, dude, that's a beefy $10 super chat. So, um... Absolute mad love there. And also mad love to Ovi as well. Yossi in I love you. Ovi, I love you too, platonically, as a pal. So thank you very much for the uh, <laughs> the super chat, man. Hopefully you're doing well today. And hopefully this uh, event is going to put us all in a uh, very, very good mood. We're going to have to see on that one. But mad love to our man Aslanis there. Uh, our new blubbery as well with $10, man. That shot up quite quickly. Uh, yo, Shiv, dude, my absolute pleasure. Congratulations on your recent success, my friend. Uh, so yeah, mad love and thank you very much for the 200 rupee super chat there, dude. Um, when will it be live? We've got two and a half minutes now, man. Not long, not long at all. We're getting very, very close now, boys. 
seen was the anniversary calendar, the main calendar for this year's five anniversary. Yeah, the anniversary calendars, I said on the video earlier, generally they, they suck like a fair bit, and it's mainly the Christmas calendar that's uh, a fair bit more exciting. Yo, what is up, Tanmay? Thank you very much for the 80 rupee super chat. Uh, Tanmay, go al. Hopefully you have a Merry Christmas as well, dude. Absolute mad love. Right, boys, we've got a minute. 55 seconds to go. We're, we're almost there, boys. We are almost there. Yo, what is up, uh, Z-Kotan? Z-Lotan? Uh, who should I rank for first? Cat Marvel movie or Nick Fury? Both unawakened. I'd say if they're both unawakened, maybe the movie version of, um... Uh, Captain Marvel there, but they're both really good options to take up. They're not only rank four, but rank five in my opinion, man. So yeah, I, I take up both as soon as you can, man. But thank you so much for the super chat, man. That's a really, really beefy one. So absolute mad love there. Super chats, guys, you're absolutely spoiling me this evening. So just mad love. Uh, I think it's Zek. I uh, <laughs> got being based on that. It's Zek X Tan with now a $20 super chat up top. Um, and also Adam Warlock with the $5 super chat there. What's that? Five years, five American dollars. Is that enough to buy some McNuggets? It certainly is, man. You can get, what is it, a 20 box for uh, four quid over here still? I think it's a little bit over, man. But yeah, it works out pretty much exactly on the dollar there. So thank you very much, sir. Adam, hope you're doing well today. Right, lads, let's pause the super chats. We need to focus on the event. It's about to go live. We have 45 seconds to go. Uh, so apologies if I'm really bad at reading chat. One last one, RIP 93 fourth. Traditional five-year anniversary gift is wood. Expect a free group bus your gift. Well, we'll see, man. We'll see. If it's a six-star version of Groot, you know, a nice little trophy to add to the, uh, the old collection there. Certainly wouldn't mind it too much. But let's uh, go ahead and restart the game now. Um, how long do we have? 15 seconds. Right. Getting ready just to close it down. Once it goes for five seconds, we'll quickly force close it, then restart. And it should be good. Right. There we go. Let's get rid of this. Okay, wait for that to tick over. Okay, officially gone 6 o'clock. Let's plug it back in, boys. Get that game firing up. And hopefully, that's going to be some good stuff. Let's have a look. I'm excited and also a little bit nervous. Let's go straight into the main game. We are going to be doing a little bit of 6.4 uh, beta stuff soon on the channel as well. Uh, but let's have a look. Tier 4 basic. That offer. Yeah, that sucks, man. <laughs> That's not good at all. Happy anniversary. Let's have a, a look at this. Right. Okay, that is that is not the... Uh, okay, that's not the big one. This is the big one. Let's have a look. Oh, hello. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll happily take that, man. Dude, that is sick. Especially for the free-to-play account. I'd be well happy about that. So depending on your level of progression, you got a bundle. So Cavalier, 15,000 five-star shards. Uncollected, 10,000 five-star shards. Proven or Conqueror, uh, four-star hero crystal, plus 5,000 five-star hero crystal shards. So yeah, that is a beefy package for pretty much everyone in all fairness, man. I think that's really, really decent. I kind of wasn't expecting like that much, but hey, certainly not too bad. Right, let's not worry about that terrible offer there. Uh, the fifth anniversary tile. <gasps> it's the number five, guys. We can have the number five. Oh, the number five? <laughs> yeah, it's the number five. We can have that as our profile, but let's check out the Halls of Heroes as um as well. That's kind of the the main thing here. So let's have a look at the rewards for it. So exploration of epic is a thousand six star shards. Week one, it's just mainly a, a lot of potions. Potions. Oh wait, wait, there's the sign there. Level two. Oh, oh no, it's this one. Greater gifting crystal. Ooh. Wait, these are these are the the new uh, the new ones, right? We can, we can't access it yet, I don't believe. But damn, man, let's have a look at some of the um, stuff on here. So this year's greater gifting crystal has minimum fifty thousand gold, a tier five class ISO, and a bonus item. A uh, bonus item can be tier two alpha catalyst fragments, uh, five star signature stones, a five star class awakening gem. Uh, four, five, or six star hero crystal shards, a T4 CC, tier five basic catalyst fragments. People are going to go crazy for that T5B, man. 
uh, five, uh, four or five star Kang or Thanos or a six star Kang. But bro, I want to see those drop rates, man. We need to give a massive, massive shout out as well to Daydron Williams for the $5 super chat. Uh, and also Nick Clender for the $10 super chat. Magic Void, Havoc, Omega, Medusa, all sig 200 hype here and Awakened. Sim Supreme, not Awakened. Who should I have 565 already? Um, I'd, I'd probably go for Hyperion if you still got the variants to do, dude, man. He's just an absolute beast for all of those. Probably between the Omega or Hyperion, I would I would probably say there, dude. But thank you very much, Nick. Uh, so let's also have a, a quick look at the Master Awards as well. Ooh. Okay, nice little rank up gem in those. And uh, across the weeks, just a lot of resources there. There's nothing like super insane from these but let's also have a, a look inside uh to see how you know what this quest is actually like <laughs> so we've got uh 2014 this one's hawkeye is it long is it tedious it just looks like a single run through so um let's do it okay uh yeah doesn't doesn't seem too bad i suppose the great gifting crystals man it's just the reason to do it, really, along with the six star chance. But I think the maybe the best thing about this event so far, unless there is something I'm missing, which there could be on individual quest completion. Let's see if there are any uh, any surprises along the way. But I think the best thing about this event so far has been the uh, immediately log in and get fifteen thousand five star chance. That's certainly gonna sit well with a lot of people would have been i think slightly nicer to get a five star nexus crystal but you know you can't knock 15k uh shards there certainly really really good uh, thing but yeah it's it is it is a little bit long man it certainly is a little bit long <laughs> this quest so yeah we'll see how we feel about the first chapter once we're we're through it but I think it is probably going to be worth it regardless for all those great gifting crystals. Because are they, are they 150? Were they 150 units per pop last year? Or were they slightly more? Was it, it was either 150 or 300. It might have been 300. I just can't remember off the top of my head, man. If anybody remembers, please do let me know in chat. Because then we can work out the value of five buys, boys by times in that number by five. Just pulled a sunspot. Is any good? Oh my goodness. What are these rhetorical questions, mate? He's very, very good. Actually, that is quite exciting. The fact that a lot of people um, are going to be pulling, uh, you know, a really good champion out of that five star today. Especially with, what is it, sunspot and warlock now in the basic pool as well. It's always a good time, man. Certainly better than the package last year. I think we had a, what was it, four-star Taskmaster or something last year? <laughs> so, the five-star shards are definitely welcome. Yeah, 300 units. So, just doing... um. What is it? The completion of Epic. Because, well, I guess completion and exploration, they are the same thing. So, doing the completion, that's, uh, what is it? 1,500 units? Assuming they are the same price. Worth of graded gifting crystals? It's like $50 worth. It probably makes it worth it for a lot of people. I don't think any of the other difficulties had the gifting crystals on, though, right? I think it was only the, um, the max one. So, yeah. Not, not too bad, man. Not too bad. This uh, seems like a very, very straightforward event. But uh, we shall see when it comes to the final chapters. It's very uh, akin, epic to your kind of standard uncollected. But also there aren't any nodes. It's just, you know, you know your vanilla basic champions. That's Lannis. Thank you very much for the info. And also the $2 super chat, man. Certainly do appreciate it, lad. Got Thor Ragnarok, is he good? He's alright <laughs> with a full synergy team. Um, but in comparison to a lot of other characters in this game, he's a little bit lacking, man. He's a little bit lacking. With four other team members to prop him up, he can be okay, though. He'll be in the next five-star feature. That is coming out quite soon. Who is it? Um, I think it's Vision Arcus. 
House of Bloodstone, Man Thing, Guillotine 2099, Doctor Doom, Mr. Fantastic, and then also 18 unannounced champions, which uh, I can almost guarantee you right now, Poos, that, what is it, 16 of those 18 will be <laughs> absolutely worthless champions, or very close to worthless, because they always chuck so much trash in those feature crystals, man, it's silly. But what's uh, everybody's thoughts on the uh, anniversary event so far? What's the consensus in chat? How's everybody feeling about it, lads? Oh, no TPS. You got Jane Foster. Not a good time, man. Netflix dead of all. How's Red Hulk? Red Hulk's quite good, man. Especially if you have, um, uh, what is it, Domino and Massacre as well. Very core cool part of that trinity there. So it can be quite a nice uh, addition to any roster. Yeah, you know it, man. You know it. I'm kind of optimistically hoping that this one, because they, they tend to add in, like, a, a Beyond God tier champion or two, <laughs> generally. Um, so I'm hoping that this one is, by some form of miracle, going to contain a Aegon so I can have an increased chance of getting Aegon. And also awaken my Elsa Bloodstone as well. That'd be great. Does this quest actually consume energy? Something I haven't uh, looked at. Yo, what's up, Noah? Thank you very much for the super chat, sir. Certainly do appreciate it. Just pulled a five-star Warlock. Congratulations there, Ty. Pretty good time, mate. Warlock, um, you know, you got to find out why he is uh, a massively loved champion for great reason. Just gonna tear through everything, man. Really, really good champion to pull. Might just stick to basics. It's not a bad idea, mate. That's where the majority of, like, beyond god tier, god tier champions are. I think in the basic pool now, there's something like... I think it's 45, 50 high demi god tier champions or above. You know, there, there is a fair amount that can do, like, a lot of work. And even a lot of the, you know, amazing low demi god tier champions do have their situational uses. But this game flooded with good champions, man. Way too many. How many characters do we have in the game now? It's about 150, 160. <laughs> it's a silly amount, man. Yeah, I think this uh, does does consume energy, but it's like, um, uh, what is it? Road to the Labyrinth of Legends, where it only consumes one per tile move. So it's not too bad, boys. Certainly not too bad. Saving all your crystals till Christmas. Oh, bro, there's enough disappointment <laughs> on Christmas Day without adding, you know, your kabam luck to it, man. I just, I just opened those bad boys right now. Sa save yourself, mate. Save yourself. You want, you want to be able to enjoy Christmas at the end of the day. So it's probably not a wise idea saving your crystals till Christmas. Oh no, thank you very much again for the uh, additional dollar super chat. Am I doing free to play Hall of Heroes? Um. I, I think Hall of Heroes, from what I see so far, is quite uh, quite basic. I don't think it's <laughs> going to make for a very exciting gameplay. Um, but I want to get through it to, just to see what all the, the challenges are like. But it's a lot of incredibly basic fights from what I've seen so far. I think you essentially just fight every champion that's ever been released into the game. Right, there we go. I think that should be Drax dead, hopefully. Sim Supreme Dupe and Blade. Oh, Nicholas, you are having a proper giggle today, mate. <laughs> Dude, congratulations, man. Not bad at all. Yo, what's up, Flag? Thank you very much uh, for stopping by, dude. Hope you're doing well today. Certainly do appreciate you smashing that like button, dude. Is five star Star Lord good? Only if you get him awakened, show. And he's got some uh, yeah, some pretty decent damage awakened, but he's very light on the utility. But the damage, it can get you through a lot of stuff, man. Especially when it comes to um, Variant 3. And a fair bit, a few bits in like the second chapter of Variant 1 as well. But who knows? I'm very curious, because with a new Variant coming out, you just never know like who are going to be like the best champions for a new Variant. Because there are always so many like weird nodes and interactions and fights. 
So I'm, I'm quite curious to see like what champions are going to get a little bit of love after the release of Variant 4. Should be a fun time. Yo, what's up, B. Daniels? Hope you're doing well today, lad. On path three in Labyrinth of Legends, but my fourth path, Juggernaut, was a pain. Is this a side quest? What are the rewards? Can't look because in the middle of lab path on Black Widow. So this is a um, uh, the side quest for the anniversary. And the rewards for doing it, um, if you do all of it, is like five greater gifting crystals for this year. So that's about 1,500 units. Um, and also a thousand six star shards and there's just a, a lot of like revives and potions I don't know if there's individual stuff in the chapters as well. I forgot to look but I'm sure we're gonna find out very quickly after defeating this Hawkeye So yeah, we'll see in a second, but there's there's so, some pretty cool stuff across the difficulties Yeah, thank you very much, B. Daniels. And that Juggernaut in Labyrinth is a um, <laughs> a game quittingly horrible fight. It's uh, not a not a fun time, man. I remember going up against him. It's a very very salty live stream. But I think did we get a one shot? We didn't get a one shot. We got like a two shot with Stealth Suit Spider Man over the summer on Labyrinth of Legends Juggernaut. Stealth Spidey is a beast for that fight. Works out really really well. Yeah, mad love to him. And also, Sick Juggalo, thank you very much for the uh, the $2 super chat there, sir. Certainly do appreciate it. Um, right, let's... Uh, oh, 60,000 gold. That is a nice... I didn't realise there was going to be so much gold per chapter. It's not bad, eh? Certainly take that, mate. That's uh, a nice little surprise. Right. Let's get into the, the next one. Is there something like overall for chapter one? Is that another, yeah, it's it's like 50k gold, but if you do it um, in the next week, then it's got the 20% boost on as well. Okay, that's just made the event even more spicy, man. I really like that. How, how much gold is that total then? Like just base, that's 600,000 gold plus the 20% bonus is more than that. <laughs> My quick mouse is, uh, is just is not on point today. How much is that? Uh, 720,000 gold? Is that right? Oh my goodness. No, wait. Y yes. Am I? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just a scrub, boys. Yeah, that's, a, that's a, a nice stack. A very, very welcome surprise there. But that is a, a lot of additional gold. It's pretty much like a, another gold arena um, just for doing the completion. And again, this stuff isn't super hard it's just long <laughs> and a bit annoying <laughs> like these paths are yeah they're it's just a, a freaking load of champions isn't there but they don't have any like super scary nodes what do we have here wolverine the final boss 200 percent regeneration Let's just keep on cracking forward lads see what we can do drugs took three revives of a 9-9 combo agon bro you're you're having a giggle there mate like, oh man, I had to do it with like, what was that, 5 star rank 4 Gwenpool? I swear it took me like 40 re <laughs> revives back in the day. <laughs> but I can't wait just to die embarrassingly on stream um, in Abyss of Legends many, 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 many times. And uh, end up spending the best part of a few grand on revives. That's going to be so much fun, lads. Can't wait. He is a long boy, man. He's a very, very long boy. But, you know, I think it's worth it for that light at the end of the tunnel. Probably auto-fight some of the lower difficulty ones. And I think, um, I haven't checked yet, but I imagine they've got a fair stack of gold as well. It's kind of kind of like Gwenpool. Not quite like Gwenpool goes to the movies. <laughs> Just a, a bit longer. But I'm just glad that you only have to do one path, and then it's like, okay, it's done, it's fully explored. You know, it's not like there's like five different paths branching off, because that stuff is absolutely horrible. But I do think you probably need to fight every single champion in the game once. <laughs> so I imagine the, the later chapters aren't going to be uh, slightly more annoying, especially the 2019 one. You've probably got Havoc, uh, friggin' Annihilus, Mr. Sinister, Visible Woman. Bro, this year is going to be rough. So, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when it, it comes to it. But I don't know how far we can get today. I think they open up uh, at later dates. I don't know if it's at the timeline or if it's like a, a week each. I'm at five total revives so far on this path. Oh, mate, you're having a laugh of Aegon. 
It's not that unheard of back in the day, mate. Back in, what was it, 2017? <laughs> Just dying left or right, mate. Yo, what a top road start. Dude, I didn't know you were coming to London. Oh, mate, that's great news. How long are you in London for, Road Scholar Comics? Hope to see you soon, mate. Are you, uh, are you playing anytime soon, man? Let me know. Hit me up on WhatsApp. Let me know the details. Right, are we, um, connection issues? Any Anybody else? Just me? Well, I'm not too sure what's going on here. Adam just pulled a Nick Fury from his 10k 5-star, though. Massive congrats. And also, Dad's Milk. <laughs> Interesting name. Um, just pulled an Archangel. So congratulations there, mate. Uh, so, so happy for you. Um, right. Is anybody else having issues, or is it just me? Let me just quickly... Okay, oh, I've been d fully disconnected and kicked off the server. Right, let's see if smashing that reconnect button is going to help our situation out. Uh, me too. Oh, it looks like... Yeah. It looks like a lot of people are having issues right now. Yeah. Okay, right. I, I think we might be back on. Uh, okay. A little, little bit of epilepsy there. Fantastic. <laughs> Yo, what is up, Tyler? Huge congratulations on getting the Namor, man. Namor, just absolute beast mode champion. So, just a ridiculous level of damage output, man. But we're back, boys. We've done it. Luke Riley, thank you, guys. You've been way too generous. Dude, I swear I'm, like, non-stop reading super chats tonight. This is unbelievable. Luke Riley, thank you very much for your $10 super chat, sir. Uh, you keep me playing this game of your videos. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, <laughs> but congratulations on just pulling a uh, five-star version of Stark and Aunt Spider-Man, dude. Absolute beast mode champion. Like, we uh, recently did a video on Stark Spidey, but he's just great for a lot of stuff, especially Variant 1 uh, and also Variant 3. Really, really good for. Interested to see if he's going to have some uses in um, Variant 4 that comes out tomorrow. And if you are about tomorrow and you want to watch me die a lot, I imagine a lot in the, the final chapter, man, because it's, you know, mainly going to be based on skill and we are uh, a best. <laughs> Okay, sometimes. So if you're about this time tomorrow, man, variant four, we're going to be live streaming that. It should be a uh, who a proper good time. I'm so excited. Uh, Tyler just pulled a Namor from the 10k as well. Oh, it's good to see just so many people getting great champions from that five-star crystal, man. Just a uh, very much divided chat, though, because, you know, half the people getting some CEO luck and half the people getting absolutely shafted, boys. But hopefully you're in the uh, the the half that's having a uh, a proper proper giggle, proper good time today. Pulled a five star archangel super chuff, but Domino on the right for the third time. Yeah, man, like Domino is uh, ridiculous. But archangel, you know that's a cheat code. If it bleeds, if you can poison it, the archangel is a ridiculous force of nature. Uh, very good for this month's, what is it, Silver Surfer boss as well? You know, he's, he's got a lot of really, really great uses throughout all sorts. I used him a fair bit when we were doing, um, uh, what was it, some Act 6 completion on Whale Milker 27 earlier this year. Like, if it bleeds, you can poison it, man. Archangel is just the uh, the cheese king of so much. To be fair, I actually don't, I don't really re understand why I haven't taken my Archangel up to rank 4 on my main account. He is, he's just crazy. So yeah, I, I feel like I need to do that at some point. But hopefully we can get like a rank 4 mutant gem from the um, variant tomorrow or 6.300%, which I, I really want to do. My champions, they're always stuck in Alliance Quest or Alliance 4 though. It's well annoying, mate. Well annoying. I'm like, oh, tonight's finally the night and then it's just like, oh, I can't, mate. My best character's <laughs> just stuck somewhere. But uh, soon, lads, soon. I'm really, really excited for when the 6.4 gets released, though. I can't wait to see it. Dude, looking through that, what was that? The early data mind abilities of the Grandmaster. That fight looks mega. It looks crazy. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to tackling that live. I reckon I'm going to die a lot, but uh, hopefully it should be fun. Got Invisible Woman. Hey, not too bad. She's uh, yeah, she's alright. I really enjoy playing Invisible Woman in all fairness. She's got some good damage if you can intercept well. 
Um, not too much utility, but she's got some great survivability. So she, uh, she's got her uses. She's all right. Could have been a, a little bit better, though. Right, let's chuck that in. Should be enough there. Uh, any dates here on the London meetup? Actually, we do have a date for the London meetup. A news flash right now. Uh, I've organised a, uh, a London meetup. I haven't announced it yet, but I've actually organised it. I've been, uh, I organised it, what is it, last week toward the end of it. Uh, we're going to be hosting a London meetup, and I'll announce this officially on a video as well, but uh, this is the first time I'm talking about it. Saturday, March 21st at the Meltdown Esports Bar in London. So I've been working with Meltdown and they're very happy to host uh, a meetup for uh, people in England. So it's going to be in London. Um, so if you're about there and you want to come get drunk and play Marvel Contest of Champions, March 21st, put it in the diary. I will have, again, an official announcement out within the next like few days as well. But just as a bit of a heads up, save the date, March 21st, uh, Meltdown Esports Bar in London. So it should, it should be a fun time. Killer is going to be there. Um, uh, Rich the Man's going to be there. And I'm going to be there. So um, it, it's going to be okay, I think. But we'll, we'll see how it works, man. We'll see how it works. But yes, everybody is welcome to come. If you are in England, traveling, if you live in England... If you can get to England, <laughs> you're all welcome to come, man. It's going to be a great night of playing Marvel Contest of Champions and drinking. It really is going to be as simple as that. Maybe there might be a few surprises. I don't know if we can get, get some surprises. But if we can get some surprises, there will be some surprises. So we'll see, man. But everybody in this chat just got the, the exclusive first notice invite right there. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Should be a good time. <laughs> uh, Gen Z says, People outside of England can go as well, right? If you can get to England, you can come. It's uh, it's open door. So there's no, no entry fee. You don't have to pay anything. Just show up and... Um, you know, you don't even have to drink if you don't want to. Just, you know, nerd out, play MCOC, have a little bit of fun. Should, should be a good time, man. I'm gonna book a hotel in that London for that night so I can get absolutely slaughtered. Um, and yeah, should, should be good. I'm looking forward to it. Rank 5, Warlock Unawakened, or Rank 5, a Mega Red with 100 SIGs. Depends on what you need to do next, really. If you still got to do, like, Variant 3, Variant 2, Variant 1, and most of the stuff in Act 6, probably Warlock, you know, if you need a champion to get you through certain matchups. But, like, there's really good arguments for a Mega as well. He's a beast mode character, especially if you run the Suicide Masteries. So, um, yeah, depends, mate. Have a Guinness for you? Oh, mate. I am, uh, you know, I'm, I'm one of those absolute noobs that just loves his fruity, sugary drinks. Like, you'll catch me on the cocktails all night, mate. Just be smashing those out. But I figure, like, you know, I love alcohol. I love sugar. Why not both lads? Why'd I have to drink, you know, somebody's second-hand piss in a glass? Like, when I can just have sugar and also get really drunk. Just, uh, it's a winning combo for me. So yeah, you'll catch me <laughs> with a cocktail or a WKD, mate, or some sort of fruity cider. But uh, it's just the way I like it, man. Uh, fruity drinks, you can drink whatever you want, B. Daniels. We accept, uh, you know, pe people at the meetup. All drink preferences are welcome. You know, I'm not going to take the piss out of you. You can probably take the piss out of me. But actually, no one is a UK meetup. Everybody's going to be taking the piss out of everyone, man. But it should be a fun time. It's it's all part of the fun, really. Right, let's steal this man's power. Or oh, is this a bad idea? <laughs> no. Okay, that's it, boys. We're not dying. We're not dying today. We are going to get power drain, though. That was just some bad play. Bro, my block button didn't work. Okay. Let's see how it is, man. Let's go for the retaliation. Whew. Sort this man right out. 
Never opened a five-star feature until today. Got Dormammu. Oh, a niche. Not exactly what you want to open out of a five-star feature. Dormammu's all right, though. He's all right, but I wouldn't want to pay 15k uh, shards for a Dormammu there. But uh, if you want, if you like Dormammu, man, congratulations. Uh, can a four-star Warlock take on Varian? Yeah, if uh, you don't have a five-star man, like he's got the um, uh, the utility to... So, yeah, it, it definitely is possible if you have the skills as well. That's uh, that's also something, you know, a huge part of Varian uh, content, a lot of the endgame stuff, is not getting hit. That's of uh, great importance. So as long as you can not get hit, Tim, you'll be in for a pretty good time. Or just bring in the Nick Fury synergy, <laughs> get a lot of additional buffer there. But yeah, even 4-star man, Warlock should be perfectly viable for variant. I think I've seen some 4-star uh, Warlock variant uh, 3 gameplay knocking about anyway. But hey, if my 4-star Sentinel can absolutely destroy stuff on Whale Milk 27, 4-star Warlock, I'm just going to tear through all sorts of stuff. Because he's got like that, uh, that passive heal block, which is just going to annihilate that regeneration rogue. That's some of the worst matchups there. Anniversary gift, five star Hyperion. Oh, that is a good anniversary gift there, Jay. Huge congratulations, dude. Hyperion is just a beast mode character. So good for like the majority of stuff in the end game. So yeah, get him to rank five as soon as you possibly can, dude. Four. These quests don't they don't half drag, lads. They don't half drag. I like the rewards, but these um I, I kind of get the purpose of this quest is to make you fight every champion that they've ever added to the game. But <laughs> it also drags. So yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about that. But the rewards are good. The rewards are going to be great once you get that six star and also the um, friggin' what is it? They're great gifting crystals as well. Oh, mate, that was a nice 23k heavy there. Loving that. I'm going to do another one of those best moments slash fails of 2019. You bet your bottom dollar we are, mate. I'm looking forward to it. It should be a really, really good time. Right, this one's a little, a little bit more tricky. Not too bad. Um, oh, we got Micro Reflect. Oh, that's not very fun, is it? Right. Um, How many opponents? Are there? It's about 15, isn't there? My goodness. Right. Who do we want to bring for... The final Ant-Man, pardon me. Um, actually, should we bring in Captain... I'm really in the mood to play a bit of Captain Marvel here. I swear, these ramp-up champions, the longer ones with persistent charges, might be quite good. I reckon Cull Obsidian, <laughs> just one, just beast mode through everything. But I'm feeling a bit of Captain Marvel, so let's let's go for some Cat Marvel here. Uh, yeah, I think we got plenty of options, man. Lots of stuff we can do. Doctor Voodoo Unawakened, good. Not really Unawakened. You can't really control too much for Doctor Voodoo Unawakened. You get a lot more control and reliability when you do have that man awakened. So yeah, not really a champion you probably want to focus on too much Unawakened, but depends on your roster really. I like Voodoo Unawakened though. He's still very fun to play. You can still control a lot of matchups, but he does take a lot of practice. Um... And just a lot of getting used to the character to really get to a high level of performance. If you're just mashing buttons with Dr. Voodoo, he's definitely not the character for you. Uh, these quests would be quick if I had Aegon. That might be the solution on the free-to-play account, <laughs> potentially. But Aegon, Aegon ain't a bad shout, man. Certainly ain't a bad shout. I imagine Corvus would be having a, a proper good laugh in these quests, man. Because all we need to do is just, uh, yeah, get the charges, win the game. Nick Fury. Let's go Nick Fury Electro here. Using Venom the Dark. Venom the Dark, great option as well for these quests. Morning Star, I imagine, would be really, really good for these as well. Sword Mate. Who did I use for my flight to New York? Uh, who did we fly? I think we flew Virgin. I think Virgin have some of the cheapest prices. Um, but I don't know. You've always got to, like, you know, these airlines, they're always alternating stuff, trying to undercut each other for certain periods. So it's always a good idea just to, you know, compare, you know, just run a comparison on, like, uh, Google or Skyscanner. Skyscanner's quite good for getting cheap stuff. 
But yeah, mate, shop around. There's tons of online comparison tools. Let's get the charges, win the game. Almost there. Gonna be it, boys. We're binary ignited now. Oh, that is what we're looking for. Exactly what we're looking for. Right, 37 hits there. Um, <laughs> next fight should be very, very, very fun. I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah, this, this is going to be a great time, man. Great time. Yo, what's up, Jimmy? Got a five-star OG Thor from the Anniversary Shards. Not too sure how I feel about that. Well, he's pretty exclusive champion. When Awakened, he got some alright damage, but I think, um... Oh, uh, what is it? OG Thor. He's still very much behind in terms of utility. Because <laughs> you've got all these, these crazy cosmic characters in the game now. Hyperion, Medusa, Corvus, Captain Marvel, Carl Obsidian, Venom, Venom the Duck... Proxima Midnight, there's just, there's too many good Cosmics out there, The Thor, with his uh, lack of utility and kind of a clear functional use, does fall behind a little bit. But uh, yeah, stick stick to the basics is my advice for a lot of people, man, just because there are so many, like, insane champions in the old, uh, the basic crystal now, and most of the, um, uh, pretty much all of the featured pool, aside from Clairvoyant, is now in the basic uh, because she's about to be added in, what is it, a week and a bit as well? So yeah, not too much longer now. And then we get a new featured man, but B. Daniels, thank you very much as well for the additional $1 super chat. Certainly do appreciate it. And Jimmy Madlock for the $5. Got a five-star bishop. Well, you can, you know, have a little bit of fun with that bishop. Bishop bomb. Live your best life there, mate. But I do understand that bishop is uh, certainly not a champion that most people want to see out of their next five-star champion crystal. Got a five-star Red Hulk from the Anniversary Shards. Sad face. Dude, why is that a sad face, man? Red Hulk's a great champion. It's a really, really good Mystic Slayer. Core part of the, the Domino Massacre Trinity. I'm not having this Red Hulk slander on my channel. He's, he's fantastic. Love Red Hulk, man. Really, really good. Got such a quick ramp up as well um, in Mystic and Energy-based matchups. Can he dodge these last two? Well, <laughs> apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too much fun, boys. Way too much fun. I was what got down one away from gold pool and all five crystals I opened. Bro, that's because the spinner has rigged me. Trust me, man. Trust me. That you're gonna be one away for the next like 500 crystals you open. It, the drop rates on gold pool, unless, unless they've changed anything, like are very, very, very low. So just you know, keep that in mind, dude. And Gold Paul, he's certainly not the, um, yeah, he's an alright character, but he's certainly not the most meta-changing, insane champion that you need to blow all of your units that could help you get some actual progression and a couple of five-star characters. So yeah, d don't, don't be tempted too much by the Gold Paul crystals. Got new Captain Marvel. Oh, I've heard she's a, a pretty good champion, man. Word on the street is the new Captain Marvel beast mode character. Just shredding through all sorts of content. Got that indestructible period, some really good damage. It's a, a brute force champion of mass mass destruction. So I have her. Um, I see in does five star unawakened void count for a god tier? Uh, well, I'd, I'd say unawakened if you have the despair mastery. It's kind of a little bit around the high demigod tier, just comparatively speaking. Uh, just because it's you don't have like the damage ramp up, and also it's just a bit more annoying to get stuff like the heal reversal and power reversal to stick for longer periods of time if you can't merge all your stuff. But once you get an awakened man, there's a lot more reliability to um, uh, voids mechanics. But unawakened, you know, still better than I would say. About 75% of champions in this game. So uh, a lot of an unawakened void can do for a roster. 
Uh, I'm going to pass on that offer, Luke Canhoot, but thank you very much for the um, uh, pr proposition. Yeah, it's only 1k 6 star shards, but there are um, 1,500 units worth of um, uh, gifting crystals in the final thing, which might have more 6 star shards, or a Kang, or a Thanos. So, optimistically, there are going to be some people that do this event and don't buy any gifting crystals and get a 5 star Thanos or Kang just from the completion of this event, which is, is quite nice to think about. But the drop rates uh, the, um, are probably going to be really, really, really low. So, you know, keep that in mind. But hey, might be your year, man. Might as well do it. Anyway, the gold's like, the gold almost, I wouldn't say the gold alone's worth it, but the gold is a nice bonus as well. Hey, seeing and Gamble, the anniversary shards, my first ever five-star featured instant regret as the real stopped on a Netflix Daredevil. Oh, bro, that is horrible, man. Guys, I've, I've said it once, I'll say it again. Stop opening the five-star featured at the moment. Like, all the good champions, apart from Clairvoyant, are in the basic pool, and there is so much of a... Um, there's a lot higher chance of you getting something really good if you just stick to the basics. <laughs> so Zero, dude, I'm sorry to hear that. But, oh man, it just, it pains my heart the amount of people that, you know, went, oh, 15k shards, I might as well go for the featured, only to just have their dreams immediately crushed by one of the, the many terrible champions that uh, reside in that. So yeah, stick to the basics, lads. Trust your boy on this one. He's, he's seen enough people take L's and open crystals, but thank you very much, Zero, for the super chat, man. I certainly do appreciate it. Five star I got from the anniversary. I'm saving up my five star shards at the moment, so I haven't opened it yet. Uh, I just want to see what um, the next feature is going to look like, if it's going to be any better, because my kind of goal at the moment is to get Aegon. So if Aegon's in the next feature, I might go for it. Uh, and if he's not on the next featured, I'm probably going to open a lot of basic champion crystals. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll find out next week, man. We'll find out next week. Oh, thank you very much, Marvin. Certainly glad it's been of use, dude. Hope you're doing well today. Finally got Claire from the featured. Hey, we love a success story, Kanga. Huge congratulations. Hey, C, and I just got a five-star Bishop and a four-star Nick Fury. Who should I rank up for Act 5? Uh, for Act 5, 100% the, the more useful of those two is going to be the four-star version of Nick Fury. At least in my opinion, man. Nick Fury, four-star, is just... He's just too good, mate. Like, Nick Fury is any star. is just way too good. Even the three-star can just absolutely shred um, Act 5 health pools. So, yeah, I'd definitely go for Nick Fury out of those two, man. Oh, she got the synergies as well. Oh, there's so much spice when it comes to that, lad. We did a uh, pretty sick Nick Fury gameplay video yesterday on the channel. If you want to check it out and see how he does perform as a 5-star in Act 6. And that's roughly equivalent to what your 4-star is probably going to perform like um, in Act 5. So, yeah, you're going to watch that video, bro. You won't even hesitate to reach for that Nick Fury rank-up button. But ideally, you do want points and deep wounds if you do want to see a, a lot of uh, what craziness out of Nick Fury there. Uh, but there we go, 2015 smashed out. We got the stack of potions here, which is um, uh, how many units is that? It's not really like that many units, in all fairness. It's okay though. It's okay. A little bit of glory, a few units here and there. Yeah, I don't know. That's that, that's okay, but kind of the big, um, the big, big reward is that is the five greater gifting crystals. But it doesn't look like we can um, uh, access it for another week. So let me have a quick look at the calendar just so I can figure out the timeline here. So week two is going to be seventeenth, twenty-fourth, thirty-first. So yeah, that should be all right because we still have four weeks left of this monthly event, man. So we'll see about that one. Also, mad love to B. Daniels. I'm going for a six-star featured. Oh, mate, that six-star featured is a big gamble. So hopefully it pays off, dude. Uh, I hope you get something good, man. But there is uh, there's a lot of champions you don't want to pay 15k for in that crystal as well. Uh, but yeah, 
Uh, hopefully you get him awakened, man. Fingers crossed on that one. And also, Chris, thank you very much for the $5 super chat. Five-star Aegon from the anniversary. How nerfed is he without being duped? And what's the best way to secure a five-star awakening gem? Um, either offers. You've got, like, variants. You can get five-star awakening gems via that. Also, five-star awakening gem via at 500% as well. Uh, and also, Labyrinth of Legends. But, yeah, he's not really, like useful until he's awakened because you need to carry the combo from fight to fight to really like ramp him up across the duration of a quest uh, but once you get him awakened man game changing Leo P uh, Dylan says now that I have a uh, max sig rank 5 egg on five star what's next bro you just gotta clear everything and just win the game mate that's the the next step uh, looking at the um, what is it the master difficulty how much gold is that so that's 26k per chapter, plus you got the bonus as well. So make sure you want to rinse as many of these events as you can uh, while you do have the, the bonus going on. 12k from Heroic there. Let's have a look at the Heroic uh, Power Index. Oh, bro, that is not very Heroic at all. That's really easy. You can easily auto-fight Heroic. Let's have a look. Can you auto-fight Master as well? <laughs> Uh, that that's really really low. I didn't expect it to be that low, man. Let's have a let's have a look. Can you auto fight master? Um, maybe not. It's it's a little bit more in the middle, but uh, that's gonna be quite straightforward for a lot of people. And going back to review the rewards one more time. Oh my goodness, those super chats are flooding in. Marvin, I'm going for Cav. Uh, gonna rank five Aegon Awakened and use rank four Domino and Red Hulk. I have to learn Ghost and rank four her as well. Who's a good couple of options for the fifth spot in questing? To be fair, man, if you've got Aegon, like, he is pretty much a one-man machine. Between Aegon and the Domino, that is a lot of stuff sorted there, I would say. Um, yeah, it depends on the rest of your roster, really, and also the, the chapter in play. But Aegon, bro, he just rinses a lot of stuff, especially in 6.1. So I, I would say you're not going to have too much trouble bringing in that Aegon, especially with Domino and Red Hulk as well. Um, but Ghost, she ideally needs the, the team synergy, but you can play her without that. But yeah, I'd I just go for your next best champion as well. Um, right. Uh, and then I also wanted to have a very quick look at the beginner rewards. Oh, sorry, the normal rewards, should I say. Let's have a look how much gold there. 5k. Um, I imagine it's going to be so easy. There's just an auto fight fiesta as well. So yeah, thinking about those first two difficulties, is it worth... Is it worth my time to do them? Um, three star. I guess some people might go for this just to get the uh, three, four gem for like, um, uh, what is it, variant uh, four? Because <laughs> you can easily auto fight it. So yeah, that's all right. The potions are okay. There's nothing like super exciting on normal though. Heroic, the four star champion crystal. Again, heroic's a very easy auto fight fiesta. Potions, nothing too special there. There's nothing like insanely exciting and master. Uh, there's an okay stack of five star shards and a three to four rank up gems. That's like an all right stack of resources, but nothing like, you know, to get super, super hyped about there. But the best reward, 100% in my opinion, is in. Um, Final chapter of Epic, man. Those great gifting crystals. It's like freaking half an Odin's there. Could be some really, really nice stuff. So yeah, some really cool stuff there. Uh, and also, mad love to Bo Biddington. Best way to get XP during the boost. Going for 60. Truck on a boost and 100% export. Act 4 and Act 5 is probably the best way to do it, man. There's still so much experience in both of those pieces of content. So yeah, certainly a lot going on. And also another Super Chat from B. Daniels. You guys have gone mad on the Super Chats tonight. Thank you all so much for the support. I really do appreciate it. Uh, so mad love to B. Daniels yet again. I've got my 36 stars for Arena. So not worried about it. I'll have three shots, I think, before the crystal's gone. I think it's the best way to do it, man. You know, those six star features, they are a very, very uh, big gamble. So best of luck awakening your Warlock and also Clairvoyant. And also, Captain Brownman, thank you very much for the $2 super chat. Hit that like button. Certainly do appreciate it, sir. Uh, but I think we are we are done for today's uh, video. I don't think there's anything else to cover. Uh, overall, I can say that this event, um, I think, is, is definitely better than last year. But last year was a very, very low bar. So I like the massive amount of free shards. Like, you know, we're going to have to see how much... It, the, the event, like, the Halls of Hero kind of drag out a bit too much but uh, they're not too bad man certainly not too bad uh but let me know what you think of the five year anniversary event in the live stream channel to so the comment section below 
Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for tonight's uh, live stream. Thank you all very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Once again, a massive thank you for all of the super chats. Been absolutely crazy in the amount of support that we've got this evening. Uh, take care. Mad love to be Daniels and also Zek for sending over a crazy amount of super chats. Take care and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.